Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to analyze the key and tempo of mp3 files using the Python library Librosa. In this tutorial we'll be utilizing the Librosa library along with the help of numpy, os and matplotlib.pyplot to extract and analyze the key and tempo from a designated folder containing mp3 files. To begin we import the necessary libraries for this task which include Librosa for extracting the key and tempo NumPy for numerical operations, OS for interacting with the file system, and matplotlib.pyplot for creating a scatter plot to visualize our data. We then proceed to create a list of note names, which will be used to map the pitch class index to its corresponding musical note. Following that, we initialize empty lists for storing the extracted key and tempo data. We proceed to iterate through all the mp3 files in the designated folder using the os.list directory function. And for each file that ends with .mp3, we extract the key and the tempo data. We use the librosa.load function to load the mp3 file and extract the audio data and sampling of it. To ensure that the file is not empty or contains errors, we check if the length of the audio data is zero, and if it is, we continue to the next file. We then extract the tempo of the audio using the librosa.beat.tempo function and store it in the tempo list. To extract the key of the audio, we use the librosa.feature.chroma.cqt function to extract the chroma feature of the audio. This function returns a matrix of size 12t where T is the number of frames and each row represents the chroma CQT of the audio in one of the 12 musical notes. We then sum the columns of the matrix to get the total energy of each pitch class. Next we find the index of the pitch class with the highest energy using the numpy argmax function. We then use the note names list to map the index to the corresponding musical note, which will serve as the key for the current MP3 file. This key is then appended to the key list. Finally, we sort the key list in alphabetical order and use matplotlib.pyplot to create a scatter plot for the extracted keys and tempos. And that's it! Now we have a fully working script that can analyze the key and tempo of all mp3 files in the designated folder. Keep in mind that you may have to adjust the folder path to where your mp3 files are stored on your computer. This script can be applied in a variety of workflows related to music analysis and classification. Some examples include music library organization. By analysing the key and tempo of all the songs in a music library, it is possible to organise them in a way that makes sense for the listener. For example, songs with similar keys or tempos can be grouped together. Music production. By analysing the key and tempo of different songs, music producers can gain insights into the most common key and tempo used in a particular genre. This information can be used to create new music that is consistent with the style of a particular genre. Music education. Music educators can use the script to analyze the key and tempo of different songs to teach music theory concepts. For example, by analyzing the key of a song, a teacher can demonstrate how different chords fit together to create the overall harmony of a piece of music. Music recommendation. This script can be used as a feature in a music recommendation system. By analyzing the key and tempo of a song, the system can recommend songs that are similar in terms of key and tempo. Music research. This script can be used in music research to analyze the key and tempo of songs from different genres, eras, or cultures. By comparing the distribution of keys and tempos across different sets of music, researchers can gain insights into how these elements have changed over time, or how they differ across different cultures. In conclusion, in this tutorial we have learned how to analyze the key and tempo of mp3 files using the Python library Librosa. By utilizing the Librosa library along with NumPy, OS, and matplotlib.pyplot, we are able to extract and analyze the key and tempo data from a designated folder of mp3 files. By iterating through all the mp3 files in the designated folder, we are able to extract the key and tempo data using the Librosa library functions such as Librosa load and Librosa.beat.tempo. We then used the extracted data to create a scatter plot visualization of the keys and tempos of the audio files. It's important to note that the extracted keys and tempo are not always accurate, it's just an estimation. This analysis depends on the quality of the files and the tuning, but it can give you an idea of the key and tempo of a song. This script can be used in various applications such as music production, audio analysis, music information retrieval and many other fields. Additionally, it can be extended and adapted to fit various workflows and use cases. 
Thank you for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to reach out.